learning from all of this, all of this uncertainty is that I've realized my, I've changed my relationship with uncertainty and the story that I was telling myself about uncertainty. And so in the past, when these really uncertain times would come up, it was this like really, and I'm not saying it's not, I'm still not fearful, right? But um, it was the fact that uncertainty meant that I didn't have my stuff together or that I needed to, it was a bad thing. Um, but now I'm looking at it more as a, a positive thing and a thing that means that I'm headed in the right direction. So I, I changed as Matt kind of talks about the story. I really started noticing the story I was telling myself about uncertainty and it wasn't serving me at all. It actually held me back from moving forward. Um, and so, and so, yeah, I really reevaluated that over a lot of reflection and work. Um, a lot of work with Mac as well and figuring out, okay, uncertainty is so natural. It's going to come up constantly. So what's my relationship to it? It's not, it's not uncertainty that's bad. It's how I feel about uncertainty. So I think that's probably been the biggest thing over the last couple of years and dealing with these different challenges that we all face is how do I feel about it? And am I going to go, am I going to swim against the tide? Am I going to fight it? Or am I going to decide to go with it and, um, and yeah, and change my story about it. So that's how I'm really looking at uncertainty now. Like every time something happens to me and honestly, I know it sounds crazy, but when I lost my job a couple days ago, I was like, ah, okay. Like life knows better than I do, you know? And so that's the story I'm telling myself at least. And it, and it, and it's working a little bit better than the other story.